Hi everyone. So this is the 1100 AE AE subsidial encoders. So I got this recently, and last night was the first light for this particular mount. And uh, I just uh, had a trial run with just rough balancing and connected the AC air with the CP4 and uh, just tried it out. And this morning I spent some time doing the fine adjustment for balance. And I figured and I'll just do a quick video of how, how to go about doing it in case it's useful for you. So AP mounts oops there's no notification. Yeah so the AP mounts have uh, you no know, two things to adjust balance. So one is the clutch. So there's a clutch on both axes, the both the RA and deck. And in addition to the clutches API has also made it easy to you know, disengage the warm gears. So I'll go in detail about how to do that. So uh, I'll just keep it here for now. Usually you want to push it in, but I'll just keep it here for now. Um, yeah, so those are the two things. So the, the purpose of doing the, um, the rough adjustment first, the rough adjustment is done by you know, loosening these clutches by turning them like about a full turn, but not really a full turn, like maybe three quarters. And all three sides. Uh, I just did it for the deck right now. You can see that even though I have the clutches loose, the deck is not really easy to move. Um, so unless your scope is uh, extremely out of balance, it's uh, um, you're not going to get a lot of feedback for fine balancing. And in fact, for visual. As long as you adjust these clutches, loosen the clutches, and do some uh, rough balancing, uh, you'll probably get you know decent uh, tracking performance. So, uh, so yeah, I think uh, that's what I did last night. Last night I just did, went in with uh, rough balancing and with the ACR, um, got some good numbers. You know, what I would typically get with uh, the rainbow mounts. Uh, with the rainbow mounts, of course, there is no balancing whatsoever. Uh, there is no feedback whatsoever, so you cannot balance. Uh, so in this case, with the uh, astrophysics, um, that's what I started off with. But I don't intend to use it like that in an unbalanced manner. So, so I'll show you how to actually balance uh, the fine adjustment. So fine adjustment, what we do is we disengage the warm, the warm gear. So. Like I was showing you, you know, you'll come with uh, this cap like thing on it. There's no lock, you just pull it out. And then I'll expose this knob. And when I see expose this, uh, uh, pull out this knob, you'll see this, you know, uh, detach itself. So, there we go. Yeah, it's come out now. So, with the one disengaged, uh, can see that now it's like any other regular amount you can you're able to achieve fine balancing so let's say you're done with fine balancing in my, in my case i had already done it um, even though i have the cap on um, i adjusted it uh, without the cap early in the morning early this morning uh, so that's what you want to do you want to uh, you want the setup to you know be as representative as possible your uh, actual imaging setup with all the gear all the cables uh, I would usually you know, tie down the cables but you know it's just fine um, so in my case I have the cables all going through uh, through the mount but yeah I think overall have it, have it all uh, as good as uh, imaging run in my case I even have the focuser in the right position um, now this is a one track color uh, if you use filter wheels, you want to have the filter wheels uh, uh, all installed as well. Yeah, and then uh, once you have the fine balance, what you do is, um, instead of flipping it all the way back, 180 degrees, you, you bring it maybe a little bit, maybe 30, 40%. Make sure that you get some feedback by shaking the deck plate. Just uh, make sure that it's sitting correctly. 
you don't want to use a lot of force and then uh, move it some more get some feedback and finally just push it in no force used you don't want to use any force uh, you also get feedback once you hit the, the end point you get a click feedback too uh, I don't know if it's intentional or not but uh, I hear a click but uh, yeah that's uh, so you engage the warm pack so now it's all locked up again now we can uh, put the clutches engage them so yeah I did it for all three knobs and same way for uh, RA you have the same kind of a uh, cap on this side so you pull it out and perform the same thing for RA and that's it that's how you uh, ba balance your Mr. Physics 1100 um, I'll go over in, in another video on how to connect ASA Air uh, with the CP4 and show my settings, uh, settings as well in this video I just want to talk about you know how to balance the scope I uh, hope it's useful but uh, let me know if you have any questions more later thank you